Hello fellow gamers, welcome back to Fire Emblem the Sacred Stones. Today we will be taking on Chapter 5. In the last episode we beat Chapter 4, pretty simple that way. Um, I just want to say that, um, no more speeding up enemy turns because every time I edit it, it does not want to work out. Why? I don't know. It, my video record uh, editing software just doesn't want to work out properly. So, here we go into Chapter 5, The Empire's Reach. Woo, 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 woo. Womp. Overdone sound effects. So, heading off from the Zaha Woods where we took on the monsters, we'll be going to Seraphew, which is where we want to be heading the entire time, actually. So, here we go. An ominous wave of dark creatures washes over the continent. <coughs> Erica's journey to find her brother Ephraim grows ever more perilous. Still, she pr presses on despite the danger. Her will is strong. The town of Seraphu, located on the border of Renai and Grado. The people of both countries have long used the town as a meeting place. It stands as testimony to the friendship the two nations have shared met these many years. Now, however, Seraphu is teeming with Grado troops. Okay, so here we go. Chapter 5. The Empire's Reach. Well, well, there's an arena in this town. Perfect. My pocket's feeling a bit light. Say, is that a cleric? It, it is, and a gorgeous one at that. Something amiss, sister? You look flustered. Ah! P pardon me? No, pardon me. I never meant to startle you. May I offer my apologies? No, it's not necessary. It was my fault. Excuse me, I, I must be going. Good day to you. And there she goes. Not my lucky day. She was quite the beauty, too. Ah, uh, such is life. I think I've time to still visit the arena, though. Captain Saw of the Seraphue Border Guard, how fair you? They're just talking about taking over the world. Such loyalty to the crown, they're just talking, scheming, etc. It's been so long since I last visited Seraphue. My brother and I used to pass through here en route to Grotto. I remember the harmony in which the people of both countries live. No walls divide the boy it is. There was something very odd about blah blah blah. Okay. Traitor Natasha, surrender peacefully. Come quietly, you may have the and you may have the chance to explain yourself before His Majesty. Wait, please, you must listen to me. There we go. Some abuse. And hey look, here we are. Coming to save the day as always. Okay, so I'm just gonna quickly pick my units and stuff. And that's perfect Oh no, I don't get to bring calm. Ah. Well the one new partner we got here is Natasha. We'll quickly go through her. Okay, so let's get into this new class we have here. It is pretty okay one. It is a cleric. Clerics are okay because they're basically priests, except more resistant. So I guess you could use it if you wanted to. Like, it's no big deal. They're not terrible. They're not, like, bad or anything. I don't know. Use them if you want. If you haven't started training Molder, she's not bad or anything. You could use her. So use her if you want. Go, she's not bad. Uh, the staff she has is overall better than Molders because Mend actually heals a lot more than Heal. I guess just for the sake of this one level, I'm not gonna bring Molder and bring Colm. But when I get the chance to, I'll definitely bring Molder again and let go of Natasha. So let's just do some trading real quick. You could use a new Iron Axe, my friend. And any other items that need to be traded off anybody? Nope, we seem to be all good today. Okay, let's quickly go to formation. Um, these red houses, the ones with red roofs, are considered villages, so they have items. Okay, I'm going to send Calm here, you here. Uh, this is a vendor, just zoomed in. This is an arena, you can train guys there, for money even. And that's an armory, which is... We've already seen that as well. Vendors sell items such as vulneries, stuff like that. Put friends? Nah, I want to put friends over there. And the brother, son, the, the father son team can go there, and you can go like that. Let's do this. 
so much for my dreams of making my fortune here. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Let's get moving. Okay, I'm going to move. Getting him up here. Overall strategies for this map. Not much. I say you split up. A couple guys go this way and go the long way to get to the boss SAR over here. Then you have uh, the rest of your units coming over here. So that's my usual strategy. Uh, the soldier over there. Where can he move? You hit A on an enemy, you can see how far they can move. Okay. So I could get into a fight with them, but I don't want to. So I'm going to move him there. You can come this way, Ardor. Seth can go that way. You can go this way and sit there with your javelin in case there's long range, long range guys. Put you right here with your hand axe. Put you behind there. You can go with... Actually, no. You can go with them. You can go your own way. Go your own way. Anyway, so here are the enemies. This soldier's going to come after me. That soldier's going to take the place of that soldier. He's this guy. Wow, I forgot I moved up the game speed. Ow. Ha! Tutka. Bah! Friends, you are the coolest guy on our team. I'd like to point that out. Because you got the first criticals of the game. You got them both. And in the same chapter, that's just amazing. Ah, uh, you missed. Ah, oh, I missed. Ah, it's so unfair. I'll hit him next turn. Oh, this guy. Well, I can hit him, though, so that's okay. Ah! Ah! At what point do you just say, let's just chuck our axe at them? Uh, the 3D farm games, I don't like that much. They're good, I'll admit, because, like, they're not bad. But they're just not great, you know? And I guess you can take them on by yourself. Because I highly doubt they'll hit you, and I really hope they don't. Aha, uh -huh, dodged you that time. Because chances are I can probably take them both on, so that's okay. Where can you move? You could move and hit... Let's just put you there, but not attack, because that way it gets Gilliam to be trained. You can move that far, so I can put you right behind them. I'm going to train you over here. Oh, support. Um, should I do that? Yeah, I'll do it next turn. If it lets me, I hope. Ow! God damn it. Smashing me in the head with your X. With your X? Yeah. That's what I said. Kill it with the hatchet. Bury the hatchet! Ugh. Okay, I'm not gonna try saying that joke anymore. The moment that hatchet breaks, I will definitely tell you that. Which reminds me, it's something I did not tell you guys. Your weapons do break over time. That is what the number is next to the next to the next to the thing. It says thirty three out of fifty, that's how many times you can use it. So yeah. That's how that works. Pretty simple. Charge! Ah! Ah, you missed. You've only done one damage if you hit me anyway, so I don't care. Run you... No, wait, no, don't run you up there. Uh, stop Erica right there, then. Well, how do we get here? We get... A dragon shield! Dragon shields, if you ever played Pokemon, are basically like irons. They raise your base defense. It's pretty cool. Blah! I have a gigantic lance. How do you feel? Okay. I have a more big lance, and it's made of silver. It kills you in one hit. Okay. Oh! Uh oh. Don't want to lose Natasha just yet. Oh, so I'm like, is he gonna be able to get me somehow? Ah, you missed. Ah, I got you. It's a good thing she's holding a Volnery though, so that's okay. Yay! A level up for Colm. Uh, level four. He's getting there. He's getting there. He's gonna be pretty good. Um, leave a message in the comments if the game audio sounds a little weird to you. I don't know, maybe it's just my TV or something, I don't know, the audio sounds a little weird for me. It's dropping, it's, it's, it's just quieting some of the sound effects. I don't know. But anyway, that's pretty much all we have time for this episode, guys. So next time on Fire Emblem the Sacred Stones, we will be 
finishing this level and figuring out what the heck's up with this guy named Joshua. See you guys next time.